Welcome to Sherman Lake Evening News. I'm your host, Josiah Swartz. Our top story tonight, 60 students from Woodland Elementary have taken the grounds by storm. Traveling from Portage, Michigan, they've come to camp with a purpose, connect with each other out here at camp that would be impossible back in the classroom. Not only have they been enjoying traditional camp activities like climbing, archery, and fire building, but they've also been practicing the four core, core principles of Sherman Lake, honesty, caring, respect, and responsibility. A key philosophy of Sherman Lake is for them to connect what happens out here with what happens back in the classroom. We go now to our field reporter, Joe, who's out at archery. Joe? Thanks, Josiah. Yes, that's right. I'm out at archery, one of the most sought after activities here hey. at Sherman Lake. I've got Emily here with me to tell you a little bit Hi. about it. Emily, how's <laughs> archery going? Archery is so much fun. It's awesome. I got to shoot a bow and you hold it like this, you pull it back. It was great. And I shot arrows at a target. Are you making a lot of friends out at Sherman Lake? I have made a million friends. You want me to name them all? There's Josiah and I, he's in the studio right now. I met you, Joe. I got you. Met, and I met um, Paul and I met uh, Melissa and Megan and Esperanza. That's a lot of people. And there's David, Selena. Did I already say David? Yes, you did. David <laughs> sounds like a great guy. Do you know the four core principles out at Sherman Lake? Yes, I can tell you all about them. There, it's Hicker. And what does Hicker stand for? Hicker stands for H C R and R. And what does H C R R stand for? It's oh, it stands for honesty, caring, respect, and responsibility. I, I know. Great, it. Emily, you better get Look, back to it. Thanks for your you time. Oh yeah, shirt. there it is. <laughs> Have fun at archery, Bye, thank you. Thanks. All right, Josiah, you heard it here out, out at archery. We're having a great time. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Joe. Sounds like you're having a great time out there. I couldn't be happier. Perfect. Wonderful stuff. We bring you now to a special report about a piece of art being completed on the Sherman Lake grounds. It was the challenge to encapsulate the soul of the Sherman Lake YMCA's mission and work with youth that created the piece by Kirk Newman. The 87-year-old local artist began the work back in 2007 as his legacy piece. Calling it Words of Humanity, it will eventually feature 10 life-size bronze statues of children and counselors interacting in front of the Kellogg Dining Hall. In the middle of the art piece, an interactive 12-foot stele will be raised. On the pillar, words of character will be engraved that future generations can touch and feel. The whole project is surrounded by tall grass and wildflowers that gives it a sort of timeless appearance. While only three pieces have been put up so far, you can imagine what an amazing addition this will be. The sculptures have certainly captured a spirit of carefree joy and youthful playfulness universal to kids everywhere. We'll continue to watch as the sculpture progresses. From Sherman Lake, I'm JD. Wonderful bit of work by JD there. There's definitely some exciting things going on at Sherman Lake and we'll be sure to follow. Yes! I've just gotten word that we're going to be having an interview with Sherman Lake CEO Luke Ostenfeld. We're going live to Josh right now for an interview. Josh, can you hear me? Yes, Josiah, I hear you. I'm out uh, with Luke Ostenfeld, the CEO of Sherman Lake YMCA. Um, and Luke, I hear you're pretty excited about this sculpture out there. Yes, uh, Josh, I'm stoked about that sculpture out there. It's, it's really an amazing project and we're getting a lot of accolades for that. You know, it's going to be a lasting visual reminder of the amazing work that we're doing here at Sherman Lake. And also, it's, uh, it's, it's really an important sculpture in southwest Michigan. Gotcha. That sounds great. I hear you're still trying to raise a little bit of money for it? Well, doing something of this scope and size is, 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 takes a lot of resources. Right now, we've raised 135000 to date. We've got about 80000 left to go. Great. So what would you say if I said there was a grant out there that might give you about two thousand dollars for the sculpture yay i'd say that's fantastic <laughs> i would be so excited because you probably don't know this but just earlier this week we had an anonymous donor tell us that they give us a twenty five thousand dollar challenge grant so that would mean that two thousand dollars would be four thousand dollars that sounds incredible that would help out a lot oh it would it would make a big difference is there something like that out there? I hear that there's a grant opportunity out there. Wow, it would be amazing if we had a shot at that. Great. Well, you hear, heard it here first with Luke Ostenfeld, CEO of Sherman Lake YMCA. Back to you, Josiah. Thanks, Josh. Well, that takes care of news for tonight. We'll continue to report on our fall school partnerships as they come in. Still to come, we've got Haverhill, Arbor Academy, Moores Bridge, and many, many more. From Sherman Lake YMCA, I'm Josiah Swartz.
Uh, what else did we have? This is Josiah Swartz. Stay classic, Sherman Lake. Walter Cronkite. And that's how the cookie crumbles. And that's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> From Sherman Lake YMCA, I'm Josiah Swartz. We're funny. Give us money. <laughs>